All right, I'm gonna show a quick video today on how to do player movement. I know a lot of people have already done videos on this, but I feel like they're very drawn out and not well explained. So I'm gonna do my version of this and hopefully it'll be quick and easy. So what you wanna do is you want to create a kinematic body as the parent node and a, uh, a child node of a sprite 3D. And then I just added a random texture uh, to the sprite 3D to give myself a sprite. And so I have something to move around. So it kind of looks better than like just a block or you know a sphere that a lot of people use. And then you just go right into the script, right? So you create this script right here, which I already have done. And this is really it coded out and it's very straightforward, right? So when you build a script, you'll automatically get this extends kinematic body. And you'll have, you wanna set your variable speed. So this is how fast the player will move. So I set it for about 200. If you go about 400, it's gonna be a lot faster. If you go about 50, it's gonna be slower. And so that's your magnitude. And then your direction is just gonna be this vector. So vector three, so you're gonna have an X, Y, and Z vector, but we're not even gonna bother using the Y because we're not gonna be jumping or going up and down, just kind of left, right, forward, backwards. So for the function ready, I just put a pass there because you're not even gonna be bothering using it. For this is your main function right here. So the function is the physics process delta and your direction, so your vector is gonna be zero, zero, zero to start because you have no where you're going. And then you're gonna basically say if input dot is key pressed key A. So what this does, it says if you press key A, something happens, this executes right here, right? So if you press key A, this could be if, you know, key D down here, so this is WASD, you can make it LKJI, you can make it the arrow keys if you want, um, it could be really anything you want. Um, and so that's really what that does. So once it gets the input from the user, it then executes this code. And this code first states, it'll flip the sprite to the, uh, the left basically. So if you are going to the left, the sprite will face the left, which is what you want, right? Because otherwise your sprite can be backwards or you're facing the wrong direction or whatever, right? So we'll face them to the left and then we'll set the, uh, basically the X direction to one. So basically say move left. And going down, if you know key press D is kept pressed, we want the sprite to go to the right, so we'll flip him to the right, and then it'll set the uh, X value to a positive one. And back here it was a negative one because you're going left here, and positives to the right. And then going down to the forward and backwards, exact same thing, right? So if inputs press key W, if you want to go forward, which uh, right here is kind of have him facing left, and if he's going down, he's facing right. You'll see that in a second. And that's just gonna be one and one once again. And then the actual little bit of the math behind it is basically the speed of the movement is gonna be equal to the vector, well, the direction in this case, which is equal to the direction not normalized. And then the, I guess the, the total speed is equal to the direction times the speed times the delta. And that's gonna give you some numerical value, basically how fast you're gonna move. So this direction right here is how fast you're gonna move and this is in what direction, right? So you're gonna move say 10 miles an hour at you know northeast or whatever right so actually that's what it says and then move and slide means you're not just going to like pop right there you're going to slide you're going to move and kind of like slide in that direction pretty self-explanatory so then going back to our main scene which we don't want to have to worry about this um the main scene we have uh this right here which already have the camera set up and everything so we just want to add our player test which is right here, there he is. Bring him over, bring him over, bring him over, and we'll rename him player. Then all we have to do is we already have the camera set up and the lighting, so we just hit play, and it'll save the scene real quick, and we will get to see what this actually looks like in, in game. So let's center this before I do anything else. You wanna rotate this around the player, and we're going to set this to about eight. Um, this is a better view. So there's our player. And we move to the left. He slides to the left and faces left. We move right. He slides to the right and moves right. When he goes down, I want him to stay to the right. And when he goes up, I want him to face. So now he'll kind of move how he wants. Um, left, right, down, up. Um, he goes through objects right now because he has no collision box. And it looks really awkward with him sliding around because he has no um, walking animation. And he is a little bit off the ground. So I'll probably do another little quick video on how to do a walking animation because you actually have to use an animation player for that, which is a little bit more steps. 
but I just want to show the basics on how to do a player movement really easily with this code. Um, so here it is. Hope that it worked out well for you.